Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're going to get started with our computer manufacturing facility. Um, and uh, this is probably going to have to be a multi-part episode just because uh, I have a very busy uh, work week in real life. And um, I'm kind of really super tired, <laughs> but I've been, you know, in the evenings, uh, I've been trying to, to keep working on this, um, you know, to get ready for the next episode. Um, and, you know, on that point, you know, things are becoming, you know, they're scaling up as this game does. And uh, it's just taking me longer and longer to prepare for the next episode. So I've actually spent quite a few hours in real life, um, you know, working on the design and then the blueprints uh, for this build. So I'm just throwing all that out there to let you guys know that, you know, we're still going strong with the series here. I am not uh, planning at all on canceling the series it's just taking me you know longer to you know to get the episodes out uh with all the prep work that has to be done well look how deep that is down in there um and you know stuff going on in real life too so anyway uh so we're gonna get started and and you know i'll probably only have time to record for maybe about maybe about 30 minutes or so uh for this episode um and we'll just you know we'll keep working on it until it gets done uh, but I'm excited. I think it's going to look really cool, you know, once we have it all set up. So I have um, already prepared the the next city block uh, for this build. And this is going to be a multi-story build. Um, well, it's going to be, well, not I guess story is not the right word. But it's going gonna, it's gonna to be probably at least as high up in the air as our glass steel and glass building over there. If not, you know, maybe more. I don't know. We'll see. Um... And I haven't even given any thought at all to the architecture of it, you know, so we'll worry about that later. Right now, we need to get, get the factory itself built and start producing the parts. Um, now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go actually go into fly mode for a minute because I want to show you uh, the pipeline. I decided to run the pipeline off camera again just to kind of, you know, save some time and do some of the, the prep work. Uh, but this is, you know, what the slab looks like from a bird's eye view here. Um, and that's open because we're going to need to put a water pump in there. We're using seven refineries, I think, in this entire build. Um, so, but not all of the refineries will require water. Three of them are going to take oil, uh, which brings me to, to this. So uh, I have run a, an oil pipeline all along here, as you can see. Um, and we went to the other normal oil node. So I still have not tapped into any of the pure oil nodes that we have. So I think we have three pure no oil nodes out here. Um, and those will likely, the majority of them, I think will likely be for, you know, probably power generation. Because eventually, um, you know, so when we get to the point where we've maxed out on this coal factory, coal generator factory, uh, we're going to do a strip of fuel generators in this area. So I'm reserving this whole area for more power in the future. But, so, yeah, so what I did is I ran this pipeline along here, as you can see. And um, it's just kind of wrapping along here. And then I moved it up and just kind of ran it along the top of this other pipeline. And then we tapped into this normal node over here. I have this oil extractor underclocked to 90 oil per minute because that's what we're going to um, need for three refineries making plastic. Okay, so we got that done, and um, I, like I said, I've spent time making, uh, designing the whole thing, and you know, making all the, the all of the blueprints for it, and I I also did uh, some of the logistics too, and made blueprints out of some of the logistics just to you know save some time on that, and yeah, I'm excited to put this together. All right, so let's head on back over here, and we will get boots on the ground and we'll turn off fly mode once we can get the hover ability then we'll be able to fly legitimately but uh, when we're doing actual uh, whoops when we're doing actual builds we want to do it you know without flying until we have the actual equipment to do that um, okay so let's get started I guess with square one <laughs> uh, which will be this this section over here so I think what I want to do is, well, let's see. If, let me see if I can set this down 
uh, from the ground. And if not, then we'll have to get up on a, on a lookout tower. All right, so let's go to blueprints and we'll go to electronics. So I created a new section for electronics. And these are all of our blueprints, you know, to make our computers. So we're going to start with, um, well, I guess we could start with A. Yeah, we could start with A. Oh, why did I make, hmm, I made that with two meter foundations. We, uh, can I get that to go down? No, you know what? Okay, I need to redo this blueprint, so I'll tell you, but, but this one's actually really simple anyway. I'm going to just temporarily set it there. All it is is just, I, I, I was thinking about building with two meter foundations, that's right. And then I decided afterwards not to. I'm just going to stick with the one meters. Um, but all this really is, though, is just the cutout here and the foundry uh, or a foundry that's going to be used to make copper ingots. So why don't we just do this? Let's grab this foundry and we'll put it down. So it looks like it's positioned with the output right on this seam here. And then as far as it's it's going to be really important that I position all this stuff correctly because of well because of the blueprints right all right so that means the corner of this is more or less on that seam and the output is straddling to this seam all right so let's grab this foundry here my very first blueprint and I already screwed it up <laughs> this is not the way it goes right oh that's fine. Uh, okay, so we want to straddle that seam. Let's lock it in place for a second. And we wanted to make sure that this is, yeah, the corner of that is just more more or less on that seam. All right, let's just double check that. So, yeah, the corner is right on that seam and it's straddling that. Okay, let's copy this and paste it over here. And so now we're producing, we're going to, this is the alternate copper alloy ingot recipe. And it uh, takes in 10 copper ore and five iron ore, but it produces a hundred, well, by default without underclocking, it produces a hundred copper ingot per minute uh, versus the basic recipe that only does 30 per minute, even though it only requires copper. So this is a re really good recipe in terms of, you know, being able to make this stuff really fast. Okay, let's uh, color this uh, yellow because that's what we do. We color underclock machines yellow. And then we also need to put a lift on here. Um, that's a Mark II lift. And it looks like it's going up with one marker showing and then pointing uh, to the right. I believe that is correct. Okay. I probably won't bother recreating this particular blueprint just because it's so basic. Uh, so let's get up here and... Whoops. Okay, try that again. There we go. And we'll just uh, delete all of this. Okay. So that get, takes care of that one. Now, um, I might wait to set the water pump in for uh, for later. What is our next blueprint here? It is, okay, B is the fuel and copper sheeting. All right, that one goes, I believe, in this section here. So I just have to remember which side goes where. I think this is correct. So if we can just get this to go right on the edge. Okay, that would have had to have been back probably there because it wouldn't have let me put that lift on otherwise. So I think that's the correct way that it wouldn't have let me stick that ladder out. So it's going to have to come in. Well, actually, would it have let me stick it out? 
No, it would not have. Oh, actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, I set this up so that these refineries were straddling the center, at least that direction. Now that I remember, and yeah, we can't go any more to the right or left because the ladder, these ladders here would be beyond the borders of the blueprint. So I believe this is the correct position. Okay, let's do it. Um, yeah. These blueprints are so freaking awesome, man. Good. Okay. Um... Let's do the next one. Uh, and, you know, then, of course, I'll go through and explain everything once once they're all in place. Okay, so now we want to go to C, which is the plastic refineries. And that's gonna, that is going to be on this side. Okay, so let's do the same thing. Let's kind of get it roughly lined up that direction. And we just want to make sure that it's straddling the center like that. Ladders are not sticking out on that side or on that side. So that should be correct. Poof. Just like that. I like how the pipes come in later. It's kind of neat. Excellent. All right. What was the next section? The next section was D, the copper sheeting section. Okay. That's going to go over here. Um... Yeah, and I believe we want to set it We're going to need to come this way once. Straddling in the middle right there. And our pipe manifold looks correct. Okay, let's do it. It's kind of cool to see you know, be able to build this like in minutes after it took me hours and hours to put it together. Um, you know, both in terms of just designing it initially and then actually building all the blueprints. It's pretty cool. All right. So then what we need to do is let's go here and we have our, our connector sections. So this is the east, no, this is the west connections. Right, okay, so that means these go over here. You know what, too, I think I'm gonna temporarily fill this in. We'll take them back out later, at least to there so I don't fall into the ocean. All right, now, this one will be interesting just because, um, if I didn't get this right, then nothing's... Well, then it's not going to line up correctly. <laughs> so let's just see what happens. Uh, we want... Yeah, we want the west connections. Okay, so... That means you need to go... Maybe there. Okay, so we definitely need to come this way to get that pipe to line up. So we're no so we should be lined up um you know east west wise based upon you know this pipe right here. Now um are we lined up north and south wise? Uh it kinda looks like we are. It's, it's really difficult for me to tell for a certainty, though, that we are. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with this. And if it's wrong, you know, we take it apart and readjust it. Okay, so let's connect that into there. 
Not gonna go into there. And that's a Mark II belt. It's Mark II because you're outputting 82 copper ingots per minute. All right, this pipe should go into there. That's a water pipe because this particular refinery takes water, not oil, to make copper sheeting. It, it, really, it looks correct to me. <laughs> I hope it is. Okay, now, assuming this one is correct... Okay, yeah, so here, let's uh let's pop up here to this merger. Now what we'll do is we'll go to the middle connection. And um Yeah, that's gonna need to line up with there. Right. Okay. So, so we've got the, again, we've got the left and right, or I should say the west and east and west portion correct. Um. I mean, that looks like that's probably the right distance that way. Oh, okay, so we we may have a problem here. That needs to go one thingy that direction. But now that messes us up over here, right? So I, I yeah, I, okay, so that part is off. But I mean, you know, that's okay. This would be easy to redo. I'd rather redo one of these than that whole cluster over there. And then this belt... Yeah, this belt should go straight over to there, and it looks like it is properly lined up. So how did I mess that up? Uh, I don't know. I had to do a little bit of guesswork on this, is the thing, so... Yeah, see, this one's lined up... Oh, whoops, I guess <laughs> that's not solid yet. Let's go ahead and pop it in place. Okay. So, we'll reset this lift here. And we'll reset this lift here. And what is that? That's just a Mark 1. Okay. I'll have to put a belt there. So, we just need to... What is that? That's a Mark II belt. Okay. So let's take that little piece out and we'll run that to there. I'll explain what's going on here after I get everything positioned correctly too, by the way. Yeah, so it looks like I just messed up this one. I needed to just come one more click that way. Because like I said, I, I, I couldn't... I couldn't have all of these machines in place in the blueprint designer because the, you know there wasn't enough space, so I had to kind of guesstimate. Well, I didn't guess. I I thought I counted out the right positioning, but obviously I screwed up this part of it. Okay, so that's just a Mark One lift. So let's redo these. Very easy to fix, for sure. It's looking good. Okay, these we just need to... Oh, wait, what do we need to do with that? Yeah, it's got to go into to here. Um... Okay, no, I just, I came out too far in the blueprint on this one, too. That's very easy to fix as well. Alright, so we'll go 
here to here. There we go. Okay, that's nice and straight. Not too bad. What are you doing? Oh, you're making... That's right, you're making fuel for us. So this one's taking the heavy oil residue, the byproduct of these three plastic factories, which I apparently I don't have set to plastic. Can't take me anywhere. Well, that one... That one's set. And these... Uh, well, that one's not. Okay. <laughs> um... These are not under or overclocked. They're just running at normal clock speed. And so the three of them together, um, you know, are producing a total of 30 heavy oil residue per minute. So this is set to take in 30 per minute and make fuel. So the little fuel uh, portal uh, package fuel plant that I have down there, I'm going to remove that. I'm not going to use it down there at all anymore uh, because we're going to do it here. Anyway. I'll get all like I said, I'll go through and explain all that later. Let's get the rest of these pieces in. So I'm gonna hop up here. And um this lift. Well, you know what? We're gonna have to redo that lift anyways when we do the second floor, so I'm not gonna worry about that one right now. Okay. Let's go here. Blueprints and this is the east connections. Uh, they need to turn this way. Yep. And then just need to slide them to here. Let's lock that in place. Oh, you know what I did? These, those two splitters are actually these. I. I overbuilt it. I think. Let me look at that again. Yeah, I overbuilt this. So I didn't need to put these two splitters or mergers, whatever they are, on. <clears throat> okay, so that one I'm going to redo. Yeah, let's... Whoops. Let me do that. Let's redo that one. So what we'll do is we'll put down the designer. Alright. Load blueprint. We want mid connection east. And we don't want you. Yeah, let, we, we, we got to rerun these belts anyway, so let's take those off. All right, save the blueprint. While I'm, uh, yeah, while I'm here, because there's a very good chance that we're going to have to make more of these factories for more computers later. I am going to fix this. Wait, what did I just do? Load blueprint. Electronics. Oh, I don't have enough resources. I'm missing some copper sheeting. Okay, let's go grab that. Okay, load plastic. The only thing we have to do on this is just set these two to, no, not residual plastic, to plastic. And we're not changing the clock speed. Okay, so that one's fixed. Save blueprint. Um, we could... Why don't, uh, okay, since I'm fixing stuff anyways, let's go ahead and actually load this one. And what we're going to do is redo this with one meter foundations. Let's go to 
foundations go to one meter put that in the corner change it to grip metal okay and then run that back to there run that to there these were half foundations and then let's grab this boundary here and I believe, let's see, we had that with this corner on that seam. And that's straddling the output. That looks correct. In the water. In the water again. Copy. Paste. That looks right. Recolor to yellow. And the last thing is, is to put a Mark II lift in, go up to there, and point it that direction. Okay, so that fixes that blueprint for next time. Uh, save blueprint. Now, um, I don't know if I can fix the, I don't know if I can fix this one because I don't think I have enough room, but let's, let's try it. We'll load it up and I'll, uh, cause I, I need enough room to move it one more unit to the West. And I don't think I'll be able to do that, but let's just try it. So that was the middle connect. Uh, yeah, that was the middle connection. Oh, I do. Nice. Okay, we can move this one click to the west. All right, perfect. So let's just turn it this way. Um, all right. I need you to turn. Oh, no, that's right. Go that way and then go this way. Right, because we had to, we were short and I had to move it back. I'm pretty sure that was, yeah, pretty sure that was correct. Okay. So we'll take these guys out and then run a new Mark 1 to there. Oh shit, I forgot to reverse that. Damn it, Jim. There we go. Okay. Looks straight, looks level. I'm just still not sure if I'm in the right position. I still may not be exactly lined up. And like I said, if we, it will probably win, we build this again. When I set this piece down, then I'll know if it's right or if I need to adjust it some more. Okay. So that fixes all the issues so far with the blueprints. And we're back on track now. Now we should be able to do the uh, the east connections. Turn them around this way, though, and then just slide them in to there. And they need to go over that way, which means I screwed that one up. But I, otherwise, I think they're right. Yeah, I went too far on that corner. But that corner looks correct. So, here, let's actually leave that in place for the moment. Load blueprint, electronics, the east connection.
So this one needs to be moved back a half of a of a width. Um, okay, so hmm, how am I gonna do that? I might be able to do that with a lift. If we take and put a lift here. Yeah, that should that should work. Except for we need to reverse it, the lift. Oh no, it's already reversed, so put it default. That how come that's not changing to an output? I don't know. Oh, there we go. Okay. I guess I had to do the first click on it. Okay, now let's redo this belt here. Into there. Uh, no. We need to do this first. There we go. Alright, now get rid of this. And that should fix it. I think. Let's save it. And then we'll reset it. Okay. Delete the whole blueprint. Get the east connections. That looks good. All right. Let's lock it in. Okay, we'll reset the lifts because uh, I'm sure they're not hooked up correctly. And likewise, we'll do the same thing here. Oh, that one. Why? Oh, okay. Never mind. This one actually connected, but this one didn't because that that's over another click or two. Let's redo this lift as well. And that should all be connected. Uh-oh. That's supposed to be... Okay, what are, what are you guys doing? You guys are doing copper sheeting. All right, yeah, we got a problem. This is supposed to be lined up with that. So that probably means that I put, that I needed to hold this one over to the north one click. Or no, sorry, to the south one click. I think, that, I think that's what that means. So let's do this. Let's delete the these connections. Actually, no. You know what I think the problem is? Is this guy sitting... I think this guy's in the wrong position. And that would have been the middle selection. Hmm.
that's also not right because I wouldn't have put the lift there for the pipe to go through. Maybe I didn't mean to keep this lift here. I'll bet you I didn't. Okay, let's try this again. Um, obviously, I have some more fine tuning, but I don't want to keep. I don't want to spend the rest of this episode trying to fix this stuff, so I'll fix it later, or not. <laughs> All right, let's put this piece back in. We need to flip it this way, and we need that to be lined up with that pipe, and we need this to be lined up with that splitter way down there, which it looks like it is. And then we need to bring this there, so it's lined up with that pipe. Yeah, that looks correct. We'll, we'll fix that, of course. Okay. Well, let's lock it in. I think that's what we want. Okay, this is supposed to be a Mark II belt. Right? Because, yeah, we're doing 82, 48 per minute. Let's reset this belt. Reconnect the pipe. And then do a Mark II belt from here to there. I think that's all we had to reconnect, except for we have to put this uh, a mer uh, it's a merger a splitter. Wait a second. Oh, no, that's right. Yeah, this is feeding copper ingots into here. Whoops. That's right, yeah. Because the sheeting goes upstairs for the, for the circuit boards. Right, okay. So what we need to do then is we need to put a splitter. No, a merger. Here, with the output. Uh, it's not letting me change the output. No, splitter. Yeah. What? Cannot connect can to world buildables. What the fuck does that mean? Now just let me do it. Okay. And it connects. Okay. I think we fixed that. They're they're not perfect, but you know, I mean me having to set all this up one at a time by hand would have taken a lot a lot longer to do. All right, so this is a this is the water pipe. So it needs to connect into here. And I guess I probably just did that. No, because that's not straight. Let's try that again. Came to here, went back to, and then did that. Okay. Now I think we can. <clears throat> oh, we got to connect a couple belts over here. goes into there and 
This is plastic producing 20 per minute, right? Yeah, okay, so that can stay Mark 1. I think I reconnected all that. Well, once we fire it up, we'll, we'll know. <laughs> and I'll fix it at that point. Okay, let's get the water pump in next. So we want to remove these guys. And can I stand here? I can. Okay, perfect. Okay, that's what we want. And let's try that. Good, so it's not touching on that side, and it's not touching on that side. And we could even do this. Um, I'd kind of like to... Here, let's stand up here. I'd like to move it back a little bit so it's kind of centered, both middle and center-wise. Because, uh, yeah, it'll we can do that. Okay, so let's put it... I, I want the, you know, the turbine to kind of be in the center, I guess. Ish. That should work. All right, and then connect that up. Looking good. All right, I think that concludes the bottom floor connections. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a wall here and go up six. Okay, let's get rid of you for now. All right, now let's go into our blueprints and find the southeast one which is actually should be the yeah that should be the actual manufacturer yeah upper floor southeast corner okay and what we want to do is we want to let's come around this way okay turn it that Yeah, this might be difficult to do from down below. Oh, okay. If I can get it... This lift is causing me issues. So let's get rid of that. Because we're, we're going to have to reset it anyways. Right, okay. Go back to here. I mean, I could try that, but I don't know if it's going to let me nudge it that far. Let's see if it will. No, oh, what? what the fuck, man? We need more nudge distance. Ah, uh, that's irritating as all get out. Okay, let's get up high. Maybe that's maybe that's just all we need to do here. I mean, the nudge distance limitation, I guess... I don't know why we have it, actually. They don't want people to use nudging too much or something? I don't know. 
does make sense. I mean, I'm not saying let us nudge something like 100, 100 times, but more than 10 would be useful. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can do it from here. God damn it. All right, I think... What if I... What if I did that? Let's also get up on the very top here. Are you the problem? I think once we get the first one set, then the other ones won't be as difficult. See, the problem is, I think, is I'm hitting the... I'm hitting that refinery. If I was closer on the tower, would that help? That might, actually, now that I think about it. No, come on, game. You're killing me. Why? <sighs> okay, what if we try it from over here? And I just rotate it around. That might, that might be right. Let's set it. Nope. <laughs> oh, man. This should not be this hard. <sighs> okay, I got another idea. Let's do this. If we approach it from this side. Uh, what are you doing, man? Okay, so, okay, that, we just gotta flip it the other way. Ooh, what's that doing? I can't, uh, uh, oh, 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 okay. That's looking good. Let's just back up. Let's lock it there. Yeah, okay, I think we got it. Yeah, we got it. We just have to nudge it to there. Whew, what a pain in the butt that was, man. But that's that's where it needs to be. Okay. Now, um remove those walls there these these aren't going to be the permanent walls they're just there you know for for reference now theoretically I should be able to just fly up here and then pop the rest in in theory so let's go ahead and um, grab our borders here Okay, and I'm going to also remove these walls. Let's put a G filter on those. Okay, good. 
All right, let's see if we can set the northeast corner now. That's going to be screws. Uh, lock that. Oh, we can't go up and down, can we? See, that's another thing, man. We should be able to go up and down with this stuff. I might... Uh, hmm. Okay, here. Let's get back here. Um, actually, no, it's this one. Screws. When I do that, where's it? Yeah, see, it's not locking correctly. All right, so let's grab some walls then. And go up six. And see if we can use that as a our target point. I didn't think this was going to be this complicated. Um, yeah, uh, you need to go down onto the top of that. Wow. Maybe. What if I remove the walls from the blueprint? Okay, let's just take these walls away completely. Now, I'm going to save this as version 2 for now. Okay, let's try this. Blueprints. Version 2 is here. Yeah, I don't think that's going to help. Because it's still factoring in... Oh, 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 oh. Yes. That's it. Okay. All right, cool. So that, that did work. I just had to get far enough out. Super cool. Okay, cool. Um, so we don't need these and we don't need those. Well, actually, we might, we might need that middle one. It is... Oh, there we go. There we go. It's not quite right, but hopefully we can nudge it. It's not too far over. Uh, I think that's okay, though. I think that's where it actually needs to go. Yeah. Just barely. Walls here. Cable and silica. Upper floor, southwest corner. Yes. Okay. Ah, okay. There we go. If that's... As long as we can nudge that. Can I... Can I come back with it at all? Hmm. Let's... Yeah, that's correct. Let's try that. Let's just see if we can nudge it far enough over this way. Ah, perfect. Okay. And let me check it over on this side. I think it's good. 
Yes, it is. Okay, we got it. Man. That was some tricky stuff. It almost makes me wonder if if I build this again, if I should do the top floor first so it doesn't have all of the stuff down below kind of interfering with where it thinks I'm trying to put the camera. Okay, cool. So let's remove all these walls. Do a G filter on them. All right, so um, for the nonce, let's just build a ladder up there. But eventually, you know, we'll turn this into a an actual building. We'll do we'll do the architecture and all that stuff. Okay, yeah, actually, let's not go up there yet. Now, over here, I have a blueprint that I created that allows me to bridge the pipe kind of up and over the road so it has clearance for the truck to drive underneath it. So, let me grab that, and I think that's in miscellaneous. Yeah, pipe over road. And we want it lined up right with that guy and bring it right to the edge of the road there. Okay. That looks correct, right? And yeah, I tested it and I, I can drive the truck underneath this. Now what we want to do is we want to... Here, let's just zoop those down to there. Um, I think for this, we want to remove these this piece. Let's get up on top of this. Okay, I'm on horizontal to vertical. Just have to remember the right... Oh! Well, there you go. <laughs> that was easy enough. <laughs> uh, I, I feel like, though, this should have a, a support here. The game doesn't apparently care, but I do. So let's do that. Maybe even there. Cool. Okay. We can get rid of you and you. And that gets our oil into our plastic refineries. And looks like we got good flow rate, so that is all good. Coming down our pipeline. It's a beautiful thing. All right, let's explain uh, what's going on here. And then we're going to wrap up this episode. I'll do all of the hookups probably off camera. And then when we start up in the next episode, we'll... Yeah, I do have some more logistics stuff to do. So maybe I will do that in the next episode on camera because some of you would probably like to see how that's going to come together. So let me just explain what's happening, though. All right, so we've got... Um, Let's actually do start at the top, and we'll work our way back. Well, no, here, let's just do this. So that manufacturer up above is set to make computers. And so we basically need to bring it 25 circuit boards, 22.5, uh, 22.5 cable, 45 plastic, and 130 screws per minute to make 2.5 computers, okay? Um, so what I've got going on over here is I've got three refineries making a total of 60 plastic. But this one only needed 45 per minute. So the extra 15 
is coming into here to make canisters. So we have 15 plastic coming in to make 30 canisters per minute. Now, the way that that works is I've set this up so that starting right here, we have a total of 60 plastic on this belt because right we got 20, 20, and 20, and they're all merged together. When it hits this splitter, what it'll do is it will send, because we have a total of 60, right? So it'll send 30 that way and 30 that way. When it hits, when that, when this 30 hits this splitter, it'll split it again and send 15 that way, which is what we need. And it'll take the other 15 and it'll wrap it back around to here, making this a total of 45. And then it'll send the 45 up this lift, up the top, and feed it into the manufacturer. Okay, so that's how our plastic works. Over here, we're feeding the 15 plastic into here to make uh, uh, 30 can uh, canisters. Then those are being fed into the input of our packager. But this only takes 20 per minute. And the reason for that is because this refinery here no sorry this refinery here is taken into 30 heavy oil residue left over from the, the three plastic refineries and it is turning it into fuel for us but only 20 per minute so i had to match the packager to take in 20 fuel per minute that means we have an additional 10 canisters extra coming from here because remember this one's making 30 canisters per minute right and so what i've done is i've placed a smart splitter here and the smart splitter will send the canisters out the right output and then the overflow it'll send out the center output and then this connection here what i will do is i'll hook it up to our storage and we'll we'll just store you know have a full thing of empty canisters and then once the storage fills up then it'll throw it into the to the awesome sink this connection here is outputting the fuel that we're making, and that I will also run over to our storage facility uh, and, and hook into our already existing fuel, uh, packaged fuel storage. Okay, so that's how, that's the whole plastic part of this and its byproduct. Now, let's take a look and see what's going on over here. This foundry is making 82.48 copper ingots per minute and it's outputting those over here so it's throwing the 82 whatever it is over here let's just say 82 for sake of argument to make it easy okay on a mark ii belt now it's splitting off the 82 and sending 41 this way and 41 this way right this splitter is taking that 41 and splitting it down to 20.5 and sending it into this refinery. And the actual number is 20.62, but we'll just say 20.5. So that gets the exact amount. It's taking the other 20.5 and sending it back through and adding it back to the line. So we have a uh, 63-ish. Coming down here, which is then being split off in just manifold fashion into these three additional refineries, also making 20.62 cop or actually, sorry, receiving 20.62 ingots per minute. Okay, because we have a total of four refineries making copper sheeting using the steamed copper sheet recipe. Now, we had these um, these lifts on here. Let's put them back on and just take them all the way up to the ceiling and turn them this way. Okay, so those three will all go up to the top. And this lift here, this one here, 
I will run also run around and merge in with those over there. Right? Because this is also our fourth copper sheeting. Actually, no, that's not quite accurate. The machines that need the copper sheeting are right up above here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring those over and around this way to about that point, wrap this one around, merge them together, and then bring them up to the circuit board machines. And then that's pretty much everything from down below. So basically we're making plastic and copper sheeting down below. The plastic's going directly into the manufacturer. The copper sheeting needs to go into the circuit board machines, which are these guys. All right, so I have three machines making 12 and a half circuit boards per minute. So that uh, comes out to a total of 25, 35, 37, 38. 25, 37.5. Okay. So two of these three are going to go over and feed uh, 25 circuit boards per minute into the manufacturer. The third one is just making circuit boards for us straight up. That's this machine here. So I got to set up to where, oh shit. These two merge together, and then that belt's going to go over to there. This one, we run out to our storage, and it just makes circuit boards for us to use to build stuff. That's why I put three of these in. We only needed actually two for the computers, but, you know, I wanted, I needed to make circuit boards just to build things. So we have it. Okay, so that takes care of the circuit boards. So now you know how we're getting our plastic and our circuit boards. The cable's easy peasy lemon squeezy. I'm using the Caterium wire, which is an amazing, probably the best recipe for wire in the game. Uh, because by default, it creates 120 wire with only 15 Caterium ingots. But of course, I've got it um, underclocked quite a ways to only provide 45. And then that just simply goes into a constructor with the basic cable recipe, but downclocked to produce 22.5 cable per minute, which is what this needs easy peasy lemon squeezy and then that just comes out of this lift and we'll feed into one of these out uh, inputs all right screws also easy peasy lemon squeezy this needs 130 screws per minute we have a foundry set up using our just uh, basic steel ingot recipe it's down clocked to only produce 10 steel ingots per minute that feeds into this constructor at 10 per minute creating two and a half steel beams per minute and this is using our steel screws, which requires two and a half steel beams per minute to create 130 screws per minute. And this shoots straight across right into here. This is a Mark III lift, and that provides our 130 screws per minute. Now, that takes care of the manufacturer. However, we also have the silica input here because we got that really cool silicon circuit board alternate recipe, which takes silica. Normally it takes, the normal recipe takes plastic and produces 12 and a half per minute instead of the five per minute, which I think the default recipe does. So for the silica, we have three machines here, all taking in quartz and underclocked to produce 27 and a half per minute because each machine needs 27 and a half silica per minute. 27 and a half there and 27 and a half here. And then these three will merge together down below and then split off again over here into those machines. And that's it. That is the setup. So what we'll do in the next episode is we will we'll get all the logistics hooked up uh, underneath here. Uh, some of it's already in place, of course, from the blueprints, but we're just got to get everything all connected. Um, and then we'll fire it up. Um, oh, you know what else I got to do, though, is I, I, I need to run... Our resources in so that we need to run coal no we need to run copper and iron in for that we need to run silica into there and caterium into there and steel and 
uh, sorry, iron and coal into those two inputs way over there. So we'll figure that out. Um, ouch. We'll figure that out and get the logistics going. What I might end up doing... I might do some of that off camera, you know, getting the resources over here, figuring that part of it out. And then bring you guys back to, to hook up, you know, do all the logistics hookups. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how time goes. Like I said, I'm just really busy this week, you know, with some work stuff going on, uh, you know, uh, uh, out of the ordinary work stuff that's make, make me work weird arrows. Um... So, yeah, we'll figure that out in the next episode. Anyway, yeah, my 30-minute episode turned into an hour and 18-minute episode. Isn't that just the way it goes? Should have been in bed a fucking hour ago. <laughs> I'm so tired. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to let you guys go here, and then, yeah, we'll we'll come back in the next episode. We'll do the logistics, get the resources hooked up, and uh, then we'll start making ourselves computers. It's a beautiful thing. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoy. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.